Corey Joseph is coming off a brand new contract with his hometown Raptors, and he makes a difference in his own backyard, hosting his first annual basketball camp. Camp Series has the breakdown. On the last day of camp, you know, the first two days went really well. Uh, you know, the kids came out here ready to learn. You know, they've been working hard. They've been having fun. You know, today's more relaxed day, you know, a little bit more competitive. All the drills that they did and all the stuff they learned, we're putting that into action. So today's one of those days and hopefully the kids have fun. For all of them, probably what I most emphasize is, you know, is the summer. So you're working on your weaknesses, you know, it's a camp to get better. So don't be afraid to make a mistake. You know, everybody makes mistakes, you know. I make mistakes, you know, uh, getting better. And even in the game, I make mistakes getting better in the summer. Don't be afraid, you know, if you're working on your ball handling, you know, push yourself to the limit where, you know, you feel uncomfortable. There's a wide variety of things that you have to, you know, focus on, you know, for the young, young guys or, and girls, you have to focus on very basic, you know, fundamental drills, you know. For the older guys, you can make the drills a little bit more complex, but we're just doing it all right now. Got four great coaches with me. Uh, my dad, you know, Steve Gasman, Gordo, and Coach Parfait, you know, all helped me out with the basketball camp. So they're running, you know, running a, a lot of drills with the with the younger guys and whatnot. And I got a whole bunch of staff here that knows the game and played at a point in time in their career as well. So they're all helping me out. I'm very blessed to have the help. You can't do nothing by yourself when you're, you know, trying to hold on in camp and you need help, you know. So people that came out to help me and, you know, not only are they helping but you know like you said they have experience in in this field they have experience with playing you know basketball in their career you know doing great things play whether that's playing overseas some of the guys or whatnot or some of the ladies too here as well so to be able to have that help means a lot you know and these kids get to learn from them because every every experience is different you know you know i i haven't played overseas and or you know or, or played in that league so every experience is different so the kids might, you know, hit listen to me and not pick up on what I'm trying to say, but listen to one of them on a certain thing, pick up what they're trying to say. So it's great for the camp. I feel like uh, when I was growing up and, you know, a lot of guys in, in my era in basketball, Canada basketball, we had other like, older guys that, you know, did well, but I feel like we were a little underappreciated here in Canada. We had a lot of talent, but we weren't getting a lot of exposure. It was like a, a, a boom when, you know, me and Tristan went to the NBA and then back-to-back, -back, you know, uh, number one picks, and it started just going crazy. So I feel like, you know, all of us, not only me, like Tristan having a camp, you know, you see uh, Anthony Bennett's about to have a camp, Nicholson, everybody, you know, we're trying to, you know, put uh, opportunities out there for the kids to come and, you know, pick our brains uh, and get better, really, you know, because I feel like, you know, I still feel like we're unappreciated. I still feel like we have a lot of talent and, and we have, you know, us guys from, you know, Toronto and Canada in, in, a, in, a, in a hole that we have a chip on our shoulder and try to got to prove ourselves. 